Hello all, uh, welcome to the video. In this video, we will see one uh, example uh, which will show how to calculate convolution of two signals. As you can see, uh, we have x of t uh, which is sum of uh, uh, various delta functions which is time shifted by 1, 2 and 3. That is here you can see x of t is equal to del of t minus 1 plus del of t minus 2 plus del of t minus 3 and uh, what we have given been given is uh, this h of t this is the impulse response of a system that is as shown in the figure so we have to calculate the output that is say this is our system this is our system and uh, we have impulse response h of t and uh, this is the x of t and uh, we know that uh, with the help of convolution we can find the output y of t using this formula that is x of t convolved with h of t so our next uh, step will be to calculate what is h of t as you can see this is in the equation form and uh, this is a just a figure uh, graphical figure so we cannot calculate uh, based on this so we need to reduce this to equation and use the properties uh, which were discussed in the previous videos and then we will be able to arrive at the required output y of t. So let's see how to uh, find the equation of this h of t. Uh, so this is our uh, signal h of t that is why it's more precisely it is the impulse response of the system. So we need to uh, represent this impulse response uh, in terms of uh, what a unit step or ramp function whichever basic signal we are aware of. So since we can see like a triangular signal here, uh, we can express this uh, with the help of ramp function. So this is nothing but as you can see this is a ramp uh, which starts at r t plus 1. At minus 1 so that we can represent it as r of t plus 1 and then minus 2 of r of t that is uh, this will continue to go here so we will subtract here so that it will go in this like in this fashion so till now we are uh, we have traced the signal till here this is r of t plus 1 it was about to go ahead at uh, after t equal to 0 to 0 but uh, we have subtracted 2 r of t here that is uh, there is another ramp going in this fashion with a slope with steep slope so in the net uh, what addition of two ramps will be in this fashion that, uh, that is it will start in this way minus 1 to 1 so it will continue to go downwards so again we need to add another signal r of t minus 1 so this is our h of t and uh, h of t was del of t minus 1 plus del of t minus 2 plus del of t minus 3 so now the task is simpler we just need to use the properties which I had uh, told you in the last video Okay, so y of t will be x of t canal with h of t. Since it is a commutative property, we can express in this fashion. Now, uh, all that is left is we need to simplify this equation uh, to come at the required result. So, let's do that. So I have expressed y of t in this fashion that is we had h of t here r of t plus 1 minus 2 times r of t plus r of t minus 1. So this is a convolution and we have arrived here. So we have to make use of this property which I had discussed in the previous video. x of t convolved with time shifted delta function will be the same function shifted by the same amount. We have this is uh, shifted by t naught, 
So even our uh, original function will be shifted by this amount. So uh, of t plus one, we have to use the property here and simplify the equation. So uh, I will simplify the equation now. So as you can see, uh, I have simplified the equation. That is this equation. So this is the equation uh, I have simplified and I have arrived here. We need to simplify further. So as you can see, this is nothing but R of t and R of t minus 1 minus 2 R of t minus 1 will be minus R of t minus 1. And there are two R minus t minus t R of t minus 2 and minus 2 times R of t minus 2. So this will get cancelled and we don't have a term involving r of t minus 2 so uh, adding these two that is a minus 2 times r of t minus 3 plus 1 times r of t minus 3 will be minus r of t minus 3 plus r of t minus 4 so this is our phi of t so let's see uh, how it looks graphically so this is our x axis and time and this is our y of t as you can see this is r of t let's start at t is equal to 0 so this is r of t and uh, there is uh, another ramp going at minus 1 that one so this is say 1 so this ramp will get cancelled and our signal will be in this fashion now. And it will continue until R of till the point 3. So here yeah, this is the 3. At 3 we have another ramp minus R of T minus 3. So it will go in this fashion. So at T minus 4, at T equal to 4 we have R of T minus 4. That is, it will continue to go till here, but we have added another ramp. So it will get cancelled and we will get in this way for our fashion. Okay. So two term is lost, we are here. Uh, I think it's not clear. Let me explain you again. This is R of T. This and this. It would go in this fashion, but we had uh, subtracted another ramp here. That is, T equal to 1. So that and this will get cancelled and we we'll get a flat response in this fashion. Till uh, what point? Till t equal to 3. So till t equal to 3 we we'll get and then we have another ramp at t equal to 3 in this fashion. So it will go here. It will go till down but we have added another t minus 4. So it will go in this fashion. So go. That is our y of t. So convolution of tell of so convolution of x of t where x of t is tell of t minus one plus tell of t minus two plus tell of t minus three with this uh, uses this output. So that's how we calculate convolution of two signals. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe.